Um, the next tip that we have here today is the points dialog select. This actually is another way to copy points. A lot of us uh, in the past have used the copy data feature. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just pick a part here. I'm going to look at my points. When I open this points dialog box, I have an option here. Uh, select. When I hit the select button, I have the option to pick a point um, from another part. So if I wanted to copy the points from the aft, uh, copy them here, I could copy them exactly from uh, that fast point I just created. So it's asking me add point nine to part. Now I can hit yes and hit close. And now I actually have that point nine um, in this point. So again, this tip is to just quickly create uh, points and copy points from one to another. Uh, ben has a question here. Very simple question came in uh, just to, to verify. So when I'm selecting a part from the tree, does it highlight that in the graphics window? So for the, um, you open up the points here, it won't highlight the part in the window, uh, but it does identify it here uh, at the top of the dialog box. And for the right click, if I use the right click menu on a part from the tree, will that highlight the it part? It will highlight the part there, yes. So any part that you click through here, as we can see, let me zoom in here a little bit, uh, it does highlight that part as well. So when you get some of those bigger models, uh, you just kind of get lose track of a little bit. You know, am I on uh, hole one, hole two, or part one, part two? Um, Especially if you've highlight. got a repeated part multiple times right. in the model. It can be sometimes difficult to determine which part is which. Right, such as this one here, we have aft bulkhead one to five. So if you lost track of where you're at, highlights and um, quickly identifies it. So that's the points dialog select. Again, it's another way to go ahead and just copy data and uh, it can be definitely beneficial.